Welcome to the next video in the Terraform series and today we are going to talk about Terraform workspaces. This is my blog for the activity that I'm going to perform today and this is the code that we have achieved uh, till, till now till here in our last video if you're following this. So here we learned the map and the lookups, how to utilize environmental variable to create different environments and how to look up in the code right here. Uh, but there is a roadblock, there is a setback. That is the reason we cannot use this code as it is. So we require workspaces. So to understand workspaces better, let's try to figure out why we need it at the first place. So I'm going to perform the operation that we were doing in the last video and you'll come to know why we need the workspaces. Let me try to deploy this code. It has been initiated already. So I'm going to do Terraform plan. Just to show you, we are still at the same place where we were in the last video. We did not deploy in the last video, if you remember. I was just showing you everything in the Terraform plan. So here it says two uh, resources. One is resource group, one is public IP. And we are going to use dev environment. So things would go or deploy as per dev environment. So let's go ahead and apply we need to apply to understand it so i'm going to apply choosing dev as an environment variable going to say yes now it is going to deploy this code or going to deploy the resource group with name dev and it says dev rg and the public ip with dev public ip now let's try to deploy or plan prod environment by choosing prod as an environmental variable. So I chose prod and it is going to give you some red comments. You can see forces new resource, forces new resource, forces new resource. So what is going to do if I deploy it, if I apply it, it is going to amend the existing infrastructure that we deployed with the help of dev as an environment variable. So you know where I'm going with this. So, so to utilize same code with the help of environment variable, we got to need workspaces so that our code is aware. This is going to be uh, for dev workspace, for dev environment, prod workspace, for prod environment. And this is happening, why? Because if you remember in the previous video, I talked about Terraform TF state file. This is the file which captures the state, and which is very important for your Terraform code so that it is aware what is already been deployed, what is going to change. All right. You, you, if you want, you can d delete the TF state file and you can redeploy it. But that's not the uh, way. That's not that's not the best practice. That's not recommended. So what is recommended to use these kind of codes? Workspaces. Let me go ahead and de uh, destroy the original code. Oh, it doesn't matter because we are going to use workspaces if you want so you got the idea terraform tf state is the file which captures the original state what has been deployed till now so in this scenario we have the same terraform tf state file so it is it is saying to the code dev rg is already present we need to change it to prod rg so it is going to change it because of this json file terraform tf state so uh, let's go ahead and search for Terraform command lines. All right, so let's go to here, 
terraform uh, workspace commands everything is present is available for you in the terraform.io no need to create anything new so we got workspace commands if you want to create a new then we need to run terraform workspace new and the name of the workspace so let's go ahead and create new terraform workspace new let's create dev all right let's create one more name prod all right now as once you create the workspace you are inside that workspace if i say uh, terraform workspace show see i'm in the prod workspace so and the existing when i did not created any workspace the workspace i was working in was the default workspace so you can see here how to switch in the terraform code select is the command by which you can switch between the workspaces so let's go ahead and do terraform workspace select default now i'm the default workspace if you want to see how many workspace you have terraform workspace list the three workspaces right here so if you're going to deploy a dev choose the dev workspace how would you do that terraform workspace select dev now you're in the dev now you can go ahead and do terraform apply or terraform plan let's see dev now what is happening see we did not destroy the uh, previous deployment but it is still not giving any command if you know if you could make a point why if you remember terraform tf state file now once we have created the workspace this folder created terraform tf state dot d if you open it there are two folders created dev and prod dev holds the dev terraform tf state file and prod holds the prod terraform tf state file that's how it is so let me go ahead and quickly destroy it from the default and try to deploy it from the dev and prod now i'm running the terraform destroyer from the default workspace so that uh, we would have the fresh environment and i could i could show you how it is working so it is destroying i'm going to pause the video while it is done all right so it has been destroyed now let's get back to the dev workspace and do terraform apply from here we need to select dev if you see if you have noticed the video there is terraform state d folder inside that we have df and now one more tf state file created for dev and it has been deployed successfully now let's go ahead and select prod prod workspace and do terraform plan i just want to show you we should not get those errors that we were getting at the beginning of the video when we were using default workspace C, there is no error it can go and deploy separately let's do terraform apply if you see here it will create a terraform state file for the prod as well let's select prod we need to approve it or you can auto approve it from the command line as well all right it is going to deploy here there would be one 
state file created. So it's not something, uh, you know, very uh, rocket science kind of thing. It is just creating two separate folders inside the uh, root folder where from where we are running this command. You can see right here, Terraform TF state D and it auto switches when we switches the workspace. That's how it is uh, tackling the situation. It is because it is separating the TF state file as per the environment variables. That's how it is done. So uh, in Terraform IO, you'll get all kind of commands. If you want to delete any workspace, you can delete it because that's how you delete it. We have delete command, Terraform workspace delete. So that's all about it. I hope this would be a learning experience for you and let's meet in another video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.